Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, in this video, my goal is to make this the most comprehensive smart dialer video on the internet. So let's go. I wanna walk you through everything from setting it up, setting up your data so that you can import it, to talking about the Podio apps, to even what you need to set up in smart dialer and smartphone for this to work properly. Before we get started though, if you need to have smartphone in order to use their smart dialer, so don't forget to sign up with the link below. You get your phone numbers for $3 instead of $5 and you save money every single month with that link. The best place I think to start is probably in Podio. So I wanna talk about the apps that you get. I'm gonna assume you already have smartphone and you know about the communications app uh, that comes in with it when you connect it. That's this one right here. When you get Smart Dialer, the new apps you're gonna get are the Smart Leads and Cold Call Script apps. Uh, you're also, I'm gonna recommend creating a campaigns app as well, and I'll kind of explain that as we go. But the cold call script, I'm gonna click into it here and just show you what mine looks like. So they give you a template. I've tweaked mine a little bit. This is what mine looks like um, if you wanted to, because this is what my seller leads app looks like. So if you've built your Podio like mine, yours is gonna look similar if you wanna build it this way. Uh, maybe pause this video or take screenshots or whatever you want to do. But this is the cold call script. You want to set this app up because what we're going to do and what we're going to be doing is with this cold call script, we're going to be making a web form. And with this web form, which basically has all the options here for these fields, this is how Smart Dialer sets up its script. So what's cool is as you're calling and you're talking to a lead, you fill out this web form and then you hit submit and then that lead is submitted into your cold call script app. So the cold call script, the smart leads with this app, what you're going to be doing, this is where you upload your leads. So let's modify the template or let me click on one to show you what this looks like. It's got the first name, last name, all the phone numbers associated with it when you get it skip traced. You're gonna have two campaign fields here. One campaign is to just track your the campaign. So that's why you create the campaign app. Again, see that's what I'm saying. This might be a little bit confusing, but it's gonna make sense once you see me do it. The other campaign is a dropdown, and this is just whatever campaigns you've created. So and, and that is so that when you upload your campaign, you make your campaign in Smart Dialer in the, over here, it will know what to pull and use it as a filter. Again, this is gonna make more sense. There's that. Let's go, and if you have any questions, I know there's gonna be questions, drop them in the comments and let me know. So you have the cold call script, campaigns. Here's what the campaigns looks like. I have demo for YouTube campaign already created and I have Clarksville. This is the campaign that we're using. Um, so there we go, campaigns, cold call, smart leads. So now what I wanna do is actually start with the data. So let's go to a file that I've kind of created that has been skip traced and I'm just using a few records here. You're gonna need to have two campaign fields and uh, a full property address field in here. My skip tracing doesn't have it. When you get skip tracing, and I have a feeling with your skip tracing too, they give you the property address and it's broken out uh, like this. So we need to get that into one column. So to do that, we're gonna add a little bit of formula here and basically use ampersands, which is that and looking thing. So we're gonna take the street, we're gonna hit and quote comma space quote, and this is what goes in between and then and this and quotes comma space and the state and quotes space quotes and this and that is going to create a full property address we're going to copy that drag the formula down paste it and now we have a full property address and just so that i don't have to worry about formulas i'm going to copy the whole thing then i'm going to paste it as specials a special and do values so it's no longer a formula and I have full address you want to make sure when you make the campaign section here like I said we're gonna make two let's call this for smart dialer 
You want to have campaign. They're going to be named the same, but you want your columns to be named different just for whatever. Demo for YouTube. Demo for YouTube, right? That's my campaign. That is my list type. Maybe you do vacants, maybe you're doing absentees or however it is that you manage your campaigns, but that's gonna be the name of this campaign. Now my data, as you can see, I've got the phone numbers, zero, one, two, all the way through 10, and I've got the address, first name, last name. So that's what I want. I'm gonna save this, CSV, as a CSV, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over here and upload this into, so before I upload it, what you need to do is go to your smart leads, sorry, go to campaigns and create a campaign. I already did it. So I hit new campaign and I called it demo for YouTube, which is exactly what it's named in the file. So you want these to all be the same, campaigns, and then you want to go to your smart leads app and you're going to add a campaign field if it didn't come with it. I cannot remember, but you're going to go modify template, going to have a campaign field here and you're going to call it demo for YouTube or again, whatever campaign it is that you're uploading into smart leads. So you need to have two campaigns in the file as a reminder, one in the campaigns app and one here in your campaigns spot in your smart leads app hit done because i already have that there i made this because i this is like the third time i'm recording this video trying to <laughs> trying to make it flow as good as possible so there we go we added the campaigns everywhere the file is ready now we are good to upload so we go back to the smart leads app we are going to excel import choose an excel file have this one here that we just made. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. All right, didn't take crazy long. Now we need to map our field. So we got first name, last name. We have like 10 phone numbers total in my skip tracing that I use. So let's plug the phone, phone one. Fast forward the video. All right, and this is where the two campaigns come in. So campaign, and you'll see why we need this. It'll make sense once you see it. I know right now it's like, why do you make those campaigns? Just trust me. Campaign, and then we need the full address down here, which we made, full address. All right, next, continue. Okay, so there's that. I click off on these keys and then I hit import 10 rows because that's what I had. Over here, campaign, I have a view that I made. So if I refresh, I should get, there's my demo. You could see it's starting to load in. 10. So here are, is everything that I just had into smart leads, okay? So now what we need to do is go and create the campaign. But before we create the actual campaign, what you wanna do is go to your media, set up media manager, and you wanna create two recordings. When you're dialing with Smart Dialer, and if you've used Mojo or anything like that in the past, I actually just canceled my Mojo to come over here, but it's the same concept. If you're dialing four dialers, and say two people pick up at once, the first person you're gonna talk to, hey, John, this is Kyle, how you doing? Second person is gonna get a callback recording, and that, that's just what it's called. So for mine, my Kyle callback recording sounds like this. Hey, this is Kyle. How are you doing today? Hello? I don't know if you can... Let me call you right back. My phone sometimes gets a bad connection. I'll call you right back. Okay? That's what they get. And then as soon as I'm done with the first call, it dials this person back. 
And then when they pick up, hello, I go, hey, can you hear me? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. And I'm like, oh, hey, great. My name's Kyle, John, how you doing? And then I just roll into it. So you need that callback recording. The next recording, if you choose to do it, but I still think you have to have the recording in here anyways, you don't have to use it though, is for dropping voicemails. When you hear a, voice, a voicemail come up, you have the option of pushing a button and then it will drop a pre-recorded voicemail. This is what my voicemail sounds like. And if you think about it, it's kind of cool. It's almost like dropping an RVM, you know, a ringless voicemail. So they got their voicemail, they can, you drop this voicemail, they can call back your, your phone, which goes straight to a voicemail. If they leave a voicemail, you can filter them out, see if they are, um, if you have any leads. Like for instance, I have 72 voicemails, all came back and I have those to go through. Possible leads in there. So where was I? Set up uh, voicemail here. No, this is my actual voicemail, which you need to have one of those too. But voicemail drop for Smart Dialer, here's what mine sounds like. Hey, my name's Kyle, and uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not sure if I have the right number. I was just calling about a property I believe you own, because we're looking to buy a property in the area, and uh, just wanted to see if you'd be interested in receiving an offer. If you're interested, please call me or my partner back at this number, and uh, if not, I apologize for the call. Have a, um, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Okay, that's the voicemail that would drop, so you want to record those two recordings, um, for what we're about to do because when you create your campaign you're going to have to select those so you need to make those recordings next we're going to create the campaign so we're going to go smart dialer campaigns new campaign all right let's call this campaign demo for youtube because that's what we named it everywhere so that's what we want it to be called you cannot once you you can't change this name later so once you create the campaign that name is gonna stick unless you wanna delete the whole campaign and then restart it just to rename it. So have some thought into this title and match it with your uploaded file and with your campaigns in both your apps and this will all just be really easy. Caller ID, cold call number, number of lines, four, phone number depth, that's how many phone numbers each record can have in Smart Leads, which is 10 and that's what my skip tracing goes up to. Voicemail recording, this is what you can drop. So Kyle, voicemail drop. And then the callback recording, Kyle callback recording. And then hold music, I think I ended up liking guitar two out of these. Next, we are going to map our data. This is where those campaigns make sense. The one of the campaign fold, um, fields in there where we went in the smart leads campaign and you saw that there were like, it was a drop down. there was like four options. So you select your workspace where you have your seller leads app and we're gonna select seller, I'm sorry, smart leads app. And then we're gonna filter it by campaign. And you can see there's no results here. Don't freak out about that. Just click off of it, click back into it. And usually that populates it and there we go. And this was the demo for YouTube campaign. So that's what it's doing. It's going into smart leads and you're gonna have a bunch of leads in there with different, from different campaigns. And this is how it knows, okay, let's just filter for this campaign specifically. So it did that name, first name, phone number, phone. I don't have any emails and the address is that full address. And then, uh, finish that up. Synced 10, awesome, done. So now what we have here, I was told uh, to leave this like this, like this is your standard setup right here. What will happen though is when you want to call people back, you want to skip those that have been converted, which is a call disposition. So when you hang up the phone with someone, you get to choose. Is it a DNC? Is it converted? Do you want to call it back? Whatever. So when you pass it the second time, if it was converted into a lead, it will skip it. It won't call it because you already talked to them. That way you can go through these campaigns multiple times and only call those people that you haven't talked to. So if they're not interested, say you called them and they either were a lead or they weren't interested, you wanna skip those people that said I'm not interested, then you skip them. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Drop a comment if this part doesn't make sense. This part, I don't fully understand at this point. He told me, don't worry about it for what you're trying to do, just leave this. So wrong number. Um, this is the smartphone person that told me this. Cold call number lines, da da da, wrong number, auto remove, off. Uh, all right, we're good there. 
save. Okay. Um, what? Oh, sorry, I didn't go through all of it. So campaign settings here. Podio mapping we already did. Uh, call script. This is what I want to show you. So this goes back to that web form. So this call script app has a web form, right? When you click on it, every app you can do this, have a web form. So I want all of these fields selected. So they show up here. So when uh, myself or uh, my cold caller calls and they fill this out, they see everything and they can just kind of fill it out. It's kind of, it's not an exact script, but it tells you what to kind of ask for. You know, if you don't know the bedrooms and bathrooms, you don't leave that blank. You want to know the answer to these questions. So the link though, is this one here. So copy this link address, paste it in here, enable it and save it. And now you have a call script and this, that form will pop up when someone answers. It'll have the address, all that information and the web form. And then permissions, you can have all agents or you can just select certain people on your team, right? Uh, to call this campaign. And that's that's basically it. Continue setup. Now what you're gonna do is go back to campaign. And in order to call it, you just do new call session. And I can hit this because I know it's not gonna freak out. Run the campaign. It's not gonna call until I click start. And there's a settings thing up here that has auto resume calling on so that when you dispo, it'll just start calling. Otherwise, every time the phone, you, you pick up the phone and talk to someone, it will stay paused until you hit the, the play button here. So you can have auto resume and this AI voice detection. I leave it off. That basically means if someone picks up the phone and says, hello, it knows. So it skips the voicemails, things like that. But there's like a delay, which I think sounds like a telemarketer. So I leave it off because I don't want any delay. If Shannon picks up the phone, hey, what's up, Shannon? It's Kyle. How are you? I want to be on, I, I want to respond really fast. That's basically it. I, I wonder if I can, I want to show you the four dispositions, but I think you can figure that out. There is terminate the call, uh, drop a voicemail. So there's four buttons you can pick over here and they, they show up over here. And maybe what I'll do, I'll take a screenshot or I'll find a screenshot. I think I have some recorded video from the, fat, from the past. I'll flash that on the screen so you can see the four disposition options and I'll talk through them. So from left to right, you can terminate the call, drop the voicemail, put them on hold, in which case they'll listen to that guitar music that I selected, or transfer the call. And then when you transfer, I haven't actually done this yet because I haven't needed to, but you can transfer it to another agent that you work with or to a specific phone number. So say you have callers and you're like, hey, every hot lead, transfer that to me. Then every time your caller is on the phone with like a hot lead and you want them to transfer, they can transfer that call straight to you and you can be on the phone with the hot lead. So that's an option too, if you wanted to do that. But that's it. You hit play and then you're gonna disposition your calls and you're gonna handle it and it's really easy. If you've ever used an auto dialer before, this part is easy, right? Call, disposition, just get on the phone and start talking to people and utilizing your script. That is it. I know that's kind of seems like it might be a lot. Maybe that didn't seem like a lot, but that's, but that's it. That's how you set up smart dialer. I like it. I'm glad I switched from Mojo over here. Once you get the list into Podio, it's just so awesome having everything integrated into one spot. I don't have Mojo and call rail anymore. All I have is Podio integrated with my smartphone. And if you've seen that text, text and call logging feature that I have in Podio, I don't even, I'm really even over here in the smartphone app. I just do everything from Podio mostly. I text in Podio, I, uh, I hit the click to call button which does open up smartphone and then it dials, I dispo it and then I'm right back into Podio. And I just love it, totally worth it. Um, in my opinion, like I said, if you want, if, if you haven't signed up for smartphone already, you're gonna need to. And if you wanna save some money on your phone numbers, click the link in the description for that. But otherwise, that's it. If you have any questions, Again, don't, don't hesitate to drop any questions in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to this channel if you, if you find it helpful, and uh, I will see you on the next video.